This year's theme is Horton Hears a Who and Emotional IQ. Now the goal is to make it a theme that combines life skills with, of course, the art of dance. And really what we're talking about is emotional intelligence throughout a lot of these performances, which is about understanding our own emotions and understanding the emotions of other people. And when I was thinking about, like, how would I explain this at the show, I remembered my own childhood growing up and an experience that I had with emotional intelligence. And so when I was a kid, I was a, I was a pudgy little boy. I was, I was overweight. And so because of that, I got made fun of a lot in school. All the kids made fun of me, and it was painful. It hurt, made me feel sad, and I cried a lot. But what's even worse than that is that I didn't share that pain with anybody. I didn't tell my mom, I didn't tell my dad, not my friends or brother or teachers or anybody. I just buried it all inside. And I hid it. But there was one person that I could never, ever seem to hide it from, and that's my mom. And if you're a parent in this room, you can probably relate. You know when something is off with your child. Am I right? You can feel it. And my mom always seemed to know when something was off. That's why I think that you know, a mother is sort of the embodiment of emotional intelligence, which is being able to recognize when somebody is saying, I'm OK, but really, their body language is telling you something different. Being able to sense that is part of emotional intelligence. And it doesn't just apply to parenthood. It applies to every area of life. If you're at work, isn't it a good idea to be able to have the skills to get along with your coworkers and your boss and your employees? If you're in sales, isn't it a good idea to be able to build rapport with your customers and help them buy what they need? If you're in a marriage, isn't it a good idea to never forget your wife's birthday. <laughs> um, and in addition to dealing with other people, it's a lot about ourselves too, our own emotions. You know, when we often get angry driving, right? Somebody cuts you off in traffic and you get really ticked off. You feel the emotion of anger. But you can also at the same time choose to just let it go and be at peace. If you're feeling stressed out, you can choose to continue feeling stressed out, or you can choose to cancel out the stress by thinking of one thing that you're grateful for, because you can't feel stressed out and grateful simultaneously. It's biologically impossible. So these are the things that we're talking about in these performances through the art of dance, and that's the goal of this show, to be able to show you that, the emotional intelligence and how it applies to our lives. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this show.